Right. Hello everybody and welcome to another race at F1 2015 here at the Italian Grand Prix at Monza. Ready to start the race soon as we look at the grid lineup for this afternoon's race in a minute. In sunny Italy there. As you see the top last top ten there. Down to twentieth from eleventh there is Ruby driving as the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel. We will see I line up in third place there behind the Mercedes of Rosberg and Hamilton. Pretty realistic there nearly. Just going to go for a very low setup here with my two setups I currently have. Mm. So go for the low downforce here. As we get ready to start the Italian Grand Prix. The five red lights come on now. There they are. As we get underway now, everyone seems to get a good start. I get Pretty shocking start to be honest. There's Massa going past me up the inside there. Let's see if I can't get around the outside here as I break extremely late here. Running into the back of both of them. Mercedes, that was Hamilton I think that was. There's Massa getting... Uh, there, there goes Bottas around at the outside there. Let's see if I can't get either of them back here. Let's get into the slipstream here. Very quick down into the little chicane here. Let's go up the inside maybe. Break low as I can. Well, it's gonna make contact, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna make contact. Oh, and I've spun, spun around again. It's never good, there. Let's just get out of the way of everyone here. Get back on track. Hit a button. If we go on to the end of lap one, though, yellow flags. Oh, there's Alonso going slowly. So there's been some kind of interest. That's Verstappen, Saints, and that's Maldonado. No surprise who caused that one. Probably Maldonado. It's Saints and Verstappen. They're going slow now. You can see the Ferrari speed here, 190 over 200 miles an hour. We're going to flip between a pair of them. Doing 280 miles an hour as we go down to the braking zone here, 220 pretty much there. Down to braking zone now behind Malvinado, who I presume called that grass. We'll have a look maybe later on. So just don't if anyone enjoyed this. Yep, and we now come to the end of lap two. It's getting into the slipstream of Malvinado here as we get ready pull to the inside of him across the line lap three starts now as I get ahead of Malvinado pretty easy move there so now come to lap four it's Kvyat, looks like Kvyat there's a lot of red balls, a couple of other drivers ahead of us here as you go up the inside of Kvyat same place and ooh, we make contact again there goes Kvyat round into the gravel another controversial incident See Ricardo ahead of two. Does he on lap four? As we cut to the end of lap four now onto the back straight to start the next lap onto lap five. Here into Ricardo slipstream here, and the Ferrari versus the Renner ends and definitely a lot of speed there as it build up the speed of 220 miles an hour, almost 230. 230 is up the inside of Grosjean and up the inside of Hulkenberg as well. A break late, make sure to give him enough room there. It's easy to make them pull, make sure he can't get past on the exit as we go into Curve de Grande. Very nice corner here. I don't think he's going to get him. He has come to the middle lap 5 now. And Hulkenberg's definitely get that Mercedes engine with a straight line speed compared to the Ferrari. There goes Hulkenberg up the inside into Ascari. Looks like he's going to get the job done there. i see if I can't get him back through the here. Let's see. Aim it. I'm the ape here in the slipstream of Hulkenberg. Let's see. Anyway, I'm going to go to the outside. So can I not get past here? And the outs on the brakes, late as I can, much later than Hockenberg, but I'm going to go wide a little bit there. So he's going to get me back here, he's going to give me a little bit of squeeze on the exit. Get off the trunk, luckily there's no gravel there, so Hockenberg getting a bit twitchy out the corner. Right into the slipstream of Nika Hockenberg here, he's like Roman Grosjean actually. With the DRS and the pair of us, and he's like he might try and get the pair of us here. So I've got the inside of Hockenberg, three breaths pretty much there. Then so he's going to keep around the outside, but I'm going to have to give him more space. Gonna have to run as wide as I can, but it's only get the position here as Grozon seems to have taken the pair of us. Grozon overtakes all three of us there. At the same time, he's gonna run the outside of me into Curved Grandi. The same type of corner where Vettel and obviously Vettel and Alonso went side by side, and likewise the other round there. It's like one wide, go off the track a little bit there. Grozon around the outside again, he's gonna get position done, it looks like that. We'll stick with it. There's Hulkenberg now going around the outside as well, but I'm not going to have any of that at all. Let's see if I can get past Grozen to the next couple of corners. In the slipstream, I've got a much better exit. Get the tail out there on the exit. And get in the slipstream, going to go around the outside. 
very quick there. Virgin not as powerful as her in the, the Ferrari, the Lotus very slow with that Mercedes engine. And back up into seventh position. See so coming to the pits. This lap looks like Rose and Hogenberg now battling. So battle between the um, two slower cars, the Force India and the Lotus, of course, having a nice little battle here with Daniel Ricciardo after giving up sponge. We come towards the pit lane. Yellow flags ahead. We're going to the pit lane. My teammate's doing, like, I think, quite well for himself right now. I think it's up in like fourth, or fifth. Come to the pits there with loads of cars coming in. We've got 19, 18 runners, so two people have just retired as I speak there. So you come out the pits there. Ahead of Hockenberg, Grosen's been held in the pit, so that's not good for him at all. So he's dropped a few positions here as you come out the pit lane on lap 7. Coming in 11th as you cut on to the end of lap 7. Coming in P10 after someone retired ahead of us, so who that is. We've got yellow flags ahead of Button and that looks like that's that's Perez as well. So actually now come to that Ted in P4. Not a lot happened. Everyone has pitted. Malvinari somehow in fifth. Exactly know how that happened. Rosberg leads by quite a big gap there indeed. Looking very commanding in that Mercedes on that ten. Ferrari's being okay here. Apparently P4. Maybe be in P2, but don't seem to be getting any higher at the current time. The corner, the last corner, the parabolic, a very nice corner here. Same, they've got rid of all the gravel on the exit now, made it tarmac so I can just run out wide if I so need to be. From the ones, obviously, do that a lot now. She so cut on to the last lap, lap 13, couldn't catch anyone ahead. Massa and Bottas, absolutely fast. Rosberg was doing a Rosberg in real life, dominating from start to finish as we come out of the last corner here. It's going to be a pretty, not very bad, saying I spun out the start. A P4, quite a good position indeed. Did you cross the line in P4 for the Italian Grand Prix? Not bad at all. For, well, let's say it's not bad at all for what happened at the beginning, but Vettel obviously looks up happy. I suppose he said he's a Ferrari, he's going to get a bad thing from the, um, yeah, everyone here. So, looks like Rosberg won by. 11 seconds there, Alonso got a penalty, but Stevens almost in the points, so Hamilton down in 9, so he had a bad race there indeed. Was he buttoned down, so Raikkonen and Sainz retired, so it's now going to cut over to incidents happen, so this is me and Massa, so they got side pod glitz there, on the outside, didn't work at all there. Now we cut on to, listen, this is what happened to Hamilton earlier on, so that's that's why he's so far down the garden, and this is what happened, so he was going in the pit, and he turned in, and well, Rosberg's there, and then that happened, and, well, AI being a bit stupid there, and that's never good, and then we can stay on this, because Raikkonen and, no, I think that's going to be Perez, had an accident as well, there goes Perez, and there's Massa in the pit lane, so this is what happened to Raikkonen and Perez, which later on in the race you'll see on the same lap later on, but this is what happened. Raikkonen goes defensive, the power's on the outside, he's not really going to get a move there. But then Raikkonen pulls back to the thing, and then he has an engine failure, it looks like. Perez hit the back, that goes Raikkonen completely out of the race, he's obviously out of the race entirely there. As he ghosts out of existence. So now we go on to towards the end of that lap, and there's what happens with Perez. Went off the track, oh, there's Pine too, he's gone off the track there, then Hamilton goes off the track, and now that button, and that's the other thing, that's the battle I was racing with earlier on in the race. If you saw all those cars off, so this is what happened, so Hamilton, so he's got a half front ring, obviously he damaged it the lap before, so he goes off the track, then he returns, and then there's Button, if you go into me there, there's Button going into the wall there, so that's never good, there's on board with there, and then you see, this is Ricardo. And then that's, I think that was Ericsson running into the back of Perez. So that's what happened to Perez. And that's why later when we cut, we see those cars spinning around. So this is on board with me now. So this is what happens here. So this is where we saw. So they've got Perez. And then there's now. And I had to slow down because the yellow flags are on there. And I've got a penalty. 